Hey everybody, happy Sunday. Hope y'all are doing well wherever you are. I'm on a break here from uh, from work. For those of you who don't know, I work over at Oat Willie's there on 29th and Guadalupe. The smoke shop, gift shop. Here in beautiful Austin, Texas. Located right off the drag near the campus of the University of Texas. Home of the Longhorns. Hook them up. So, uh, it's actually pretty quiet here today. It's a very quiet Sunday. I mean, you know, students are gone. You know, most of them at least. But, you know, I, but the store was actually pretty busy when I came in. I said earlier, you know, today it was, and uh, I did see quite a few people out and about. But in this area, it's pretty chill, which is nice. No music will be blaring from any dorm rooms. It's therefore, I will not get any copyright strikes or partially muted videos when shown in other countries or other regions of the world. So, yeah. Ah, oh, man. Just, just nice and relaxed. Just finished my lunch. It's, uh, it's pretty humid out here today. It's probably going to rain at some point. It's been raining forever, man. I mean, to the point where people are like, God damn, it's just raining so much. I mean, we don't, we don't ever expect this much rain. You know, I mean, it's been like a long time since it's rained this much. I mean, in fact, it's rained so much that there's no drought. <laughs> You know, normally, normally this time of year, you know, we the we the, the drought begins or is present, but we've we've had like two weeks of rain, and uh, yeah, so you know, expect expect the, the springs and Lake Travis to be quite full this uh, upcoming season. I mean, but as one of my coworkers had said, and I said this too, I, I thought it as well. I mean, you know, let's let, let it rain while let, get get as much rain here a while, you know, as much while we can, because you know, very very soon, you know, it's going to be hitting hundred plus degree days for like months in a row. <laughs> And we're going to be like, please, can it just rain one day? <laughs> but that's why, we'll, you know, that's why we do a lot of swimming and such. So there will be a lot of swimming. In fact, I have to go to my pool this week. It's actually like opened, opened. So I, I have to buy new swim trunks too because swim trunks I currently have are, are um, pretty big on me now. In fact, I have to... I have to like buckle down and instead of like buying, you know, I mean, I'm not, I'm buying like too much stuff, like crazy shit these days, but I do have to like save some of my money so I can go to Walmart, excuse me, and buy clothes that actually fit because all my pants are so goddamn big right now and it's like, you pull it out like so outward, I have to like fold it over and then, you know then put my belt on. I guess that's a good problem, but nonetheless, I still have to get pants that actually fit me. Shirts, I'm fine. I gotta get new, like, boxers and socks, too, just because I need more of those. So I actually, I actually have to, like, put my money towards that kind of stuff. Or whatever. So, but, uh... Ah, oh, man. But today, June 6th, I want to uh, wish my mother uh, and my late stepfather, Case, a uh, happy wedding anniversary. It was on this day 24 years ago. That they got married in uh, the backyard of their house in Riverton, which they don't live at anymore. My mom moved out of that house recently. My stepfather, he passed away like almost nine years ago. So, you know, 
That was a really, really beautiful wedding. You know, I still remember, I still kind of remember it vividly. Uh, my my, uh, my grandmother was there, my Lola, she was there. That was cool. I had to wear a barong. I don't know what a barong is. It's like a, it's like a dress, it's like a, it's like a, this like special kind of like dress shirt that Filipino men wear. You wear it like a Filipino functions. You don't have to be necessarily Filipino. I guess it helps. <laughs> but, <laughs> <coughs> but my my but Case wore wore them too at, on occasions. They're like very special, you know, sh shirts for very special occasions. I know that sounds redundant, but it's a very special shirt. <laughs> very fancy, hot as hell too. It's like I don't know polyester or something. It's so goddamn hot, and you know, Philippines. It's already hot, and you gotta wear something like that. It's like whew, what. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, my grandmother was there too. Both my grandmothers were there. Uh, Henrietta. My dad's uh, grandmother, uh, Shimko, she was there. And then, yes, that was really special. I remember both my... <sighs> yeah, both my uh, grandmothers were there, so that was super special. And uh, So happy anniversary to you, Mom, and to Case. And... Um, See something here real quick. So, and uh, also, June 6th, I want to wish an old, good old friend of mine, whom I haven't talked to in a long time, Lee Ondevchuk. I know his sister Jennifer is uh, on Facebook. And uh, we're Facebook friends. Keep in touch with her once in a while. See uh, what, what, what each other one's up to and stuff. So, uh, but Lee's not a social media guy. He never was. I would never had pegged him to be one. I'd be surprised if he had had one, actually. I was actually not surprised when, you know, he's like, I don't have a Facebook. I'm like, yeah, I, I could really see that, you know. But he has, a, you know, email text. I don't know. I got to, like, yeah, I should, like, email him. or I wonder if his number is still the same. I haven't, like, it's been years since I've talked to him. I don't know. I just, like, fell out of touch. But, um, you know, I was still talking to him, I think, before I moved here to Austin. Because I actually was talking to him about moving here to Texas. So, I guess he's probably, let me see if I'm 40, says he's maybe he's 45, maybe turned 45, I'm thinking. So, 46, 45 or 46. I think he's not two years older than me, he's, here, he's like, he's not only, really, he's, like, he's probably like turned 46. So, happy birthday, Lee, wherever you are. Hope you're doing well. You know, hope you're, uh, you're out there on, this, on the road, on your motorcycle. I hope you're being safe out on the road there and stuff. So, uh, you know, hope you're enjoying your birthday and everything. And also, speaking of birthdays, yesterday was my friend Todd's birthday. Todd Triplett. Happy birthday, Todd. Sorry I didn't get to make your, uh, hey, what's up? What a friendly, aw. A friendly dog, but uh, yeah, Todd. I'm sorry I didn't get to make your party yesterday. Had to work late and couldn't make it out there. And uh, you know, I'm sure uh, I'm sure it was a great time to be had and stuff. Uh, but we'll catch up soon and stuff. So, uh, but you know, uh, happy birthday to you. And uh, I think that's it for the. For the birthday wishes and other things and such. So I'm trying to think what other, you know, I, I think that's uh, those are the events that I am aware of for uh, for birthdays and anniversaries and such. And um, yeah, I'd say just a relaxing day. It's been a relaxing weekend. You know, I uh, hung out with my friend Duggan on Friday night. I said we went to a uh, house wine a place we used to hang out at years ago and uh he did open he used to book open mic nights there on monday nights and uh, the wine and the beverages were really inexpensive but that was four years ago and now like you know the prices are a bit more he's like did you see the he's like did you notice the prices of the wine i'm like yeah that's why i got a beer instead so but it was cool to be back there and, I, and then yesterday uh oh you know I, yeah i went to um I went to Glassmith 
for a little bit. I actually went. I actually went to Glassmith. I went back and I actually bought a cart this time. I bought a, you know, I I, I bought a a cake cart, a sativa one. I forget the the the, the flavor strain of it. The girl there who works there is really cool. Her name's Elizabeth. She uh, runs the Instagram, the social media for uh, for Glassmith, and uh, kind of try to see if you know, they could do a giveaway. Like collaboration thing with us with uh, Oat Willies because he just did it with uh, Happy Clouds. There's another smoke shop here in the city. That's really cool. And um, yeah, that's uh, that was cool. Uh, you know, we talked for a while about like you know Delta Eight carts and you know the the strains really you know mean anything or if it's just kind of like a marketing thing or a psychological thing you know or or if it or if this sativa or indica if it's really a thing you know with delta 8 you know we we kind of we both concluded that delta 8's delta 8 you know it's cool that they give the strain names or whatever kind of like give people like a familiarity so they can you know buy it it's a yeah definitely like a psychological marketing thing which hey you know whatever you got to do i mean i i love it you know and i hope texas doesn't fuck with it you know but if they do then it's going to be like a buying up that shit like crazy you might have to uh you know, oh man. Well, that was less than ten seconds. I think the rule is like less than ten seconds. I don't know how Facebook does it, but if I put this video on YouTube, I think if it's less than ten seconds, and you know, but that was just a uh, just heard a bit of a uh, deaf leopard animal with that dude riding by. So say when people ride, you know, drive by, ride their bikes by, skate by, like they're gonna be playing their music. That's why sometimes I get those mutes, even if it's like not these guys around here, you know, like playing their music. Yeah, so, um, you know, you got that, and, yeah, and like I said, it's been a chill weekend, uh, I was there for about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes talking to, uh, Elizabeth, really sweet girl, really cool chick, really, really cool chick, I definitely want to go up there and see her again, she looks like she works there at night time, so... I'll be back there up again, and, uh, you know, they got a lot of cool glass pieces. I actually entered one of the recent contests, so hopefully that'd be, that'd be awesome if I want to want to give away. But I'm always going to, like, enter giveaways there because, you know, the odds at some point you will win. I mean, I won stuff off of Instagram, off of uh, social media, so it is possible. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, and uh, I don't know. Tonight's 80s night. At least I'm usually go to that. I was talking about that last night. Probably going tonight, but I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to go. Jen's not going. She's going to be staying in, and uh, I think she had a long night uh, at Todd's party. <laughs> she had a long, she had a long night there, so I think she's staying in. So I mean, I could go, but then I don't know. I don't have a ride back. Like there's no buses, and I don't feel like spending, spending an Uber. I don't know if I'm like, driving. Maybe I can get a car ride home from somebody. I should see if, uh, I don't know, I should see if my friend Amber's going to be there. I did ask if she was going to be there. And then I could see her and stuff, and I could see some other people, but I don't know. I'll see how I feel. Then I did some mind, and I'm just going home, too. So we'll see what's going on and stuff. But, um, yeah, I think I am going to wrap up this live stream. But uh, thanks, y'all, for uh, checking in, watching my live streams. Oh, I hit 110 subscribers on YouTube, and it's like the quickest amount of time I've hit, you know, a number of subscribers, so like hit these little goals, and like two buddy, like it took a while to get to 100, I was like, gain a couple subscribers, and lose a couple, and gain a couple, lose one, I don't know if it was spot shit or whatever, but it took forever, I remember I was at like 96, 97, I was like, please, please somebody get me, you know, to 100. Then I got to 100, and it felt like all of a sudden people like realized I have a channel. I guess when I started talking about it, so now I'm at 100. I'm at 110. That's a really big personal milestone for me. And I hit like over 30,000 views recently, total. You know, I mean, for a little dinky channel that I just used to use to like store videos on because I didn't have enough memory or space on my old cell phones. You know, and it's cool because you go back and see those old bits of footage 
I mean, they're shot on, like, crappy cameras, and the quality is crappy, but you're going to see some old, like, NASCAR races I went to, some Sixers games I went to back in the day, like, you know, before the Trust the Process era, when they were just, like, blah, you know, like, just total blah. Um, I think I filmed some Cage of Death 11. I can't remember. Whichever one that had Danny Havoc and uh, Sammy Callahan, I think that was Cage of Death 11. I think that was the last Cage of Death I ever attended. So there's all sorts of little stuff there, you know, like when I went to concerts, I think there's like mega, there's some Megadeth stuff on there. When I went to see uh, the Gigantor with Lee, actually, Lee, Lee took me to the Lee and I went to that concert together, the Gigantor, Gigantor and it had like a, like a bunch of other metal bands, but Megadeth was the headliner that year. That was 2013. So yeah. So like, there's all sorts of stuff like that. I was just like filming stuff, you know, I have all sorts of like, uh, but I, I didn't like actually consciously turn it into a channel until like like two years ago when I started watching like YouTube creators and content makers and I was like oh like yeah you can make a channel to a thing of course I got came to the party way too late by the time I started doing it it was like they made it so hard for people to monetize I guess because I guess because everybody was like like I'm gonna make a channel and I'm gonna make so many videos and I guess I don't they clamp down so you have to have like a thousand subscribers to monetize you have to have like hundred thousand views I don't know like so many th so many views you know and, and and followers to get to monetize off the thing now it kind of is lame but I'm just doing it for the love of it I guess now and just seeing if I can um, get anything off of it get anything done with it you know I'm gonna put like this put the, you know this video will be on YouTube and it's funny you'll be watching this on YouTube being like why is he saying that it's like well because this is a Facebook stream that will be placed on YouTube at some point. So, thanks again for checking in. I will be back tomorrow for Monday Lunch Break Live, 3.30 p.m. Central Time, or 4 p.m. Central Time. It'll start between 3.30 and 4 p.m. Central, depending on what I'm doing. If I have a visitor, or if I have a plan, and it may not happen, but if that's the case, that'll happen. Monday Monday and Tuesday, well, those are the times. Be starting between 3.30 and 4 p.m. Central. Here on Facebook.com slash Archimco, I think is my URL. So, thanks again. Y'all have a great night, great day. Take care.